update this map uh, to fit them all on there for you. But just know that if you're on the 91 and east to the 60, you are going to uh, hit a closure. So you're going to have to take an alternate route. It's going to take you some time. You don't have too many alternates in this area. And it also looks like the connection to continue on and take that time 215 before we see this reopen. But we will keep you updated. It is causing a bit of traffic in this area, though. Rachel, Irene, I'll send it back to you for so now. If you travel okay, through Riverside, Brianna. it is going to be a bit difficult this morning on multiple freeways. So we updated the map here. Hopefully it's a little easier to understand on the 91 east back down and also to the 215 northbound. So it looks like it's the transition to 60 westbound and then 215 north off of that 91 east that you're not going to be able to continue along. And then the 215 northbound, it looks like that connection is fully shut down to even just continue going on to that 215 North. So just a heads up, you are going to hit quite a bit of traffic traffic through downtown LA along the 10 and the 110 interchange. Everything's looking okay over here, but we will keep you updated on what's happening in Riverside. All right, Rachel, Irene, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Brianna. A car slammed into the back of a semi, and so we are going to see some closures here. We don't know for how long, so we'll keep you updated as we get more information. But if you travel through Riverside, traffic there, but we are starting to see some delays that are building because you cannot get onto the 60 transit. 215 northbound transition looks to just be shut down in general. So we're also seeing a lot of traffic build on the 60 west. So just know this is the worst area we've got out there. We will keep you updated as the morning goes on, but leave very early if you travel through Riverside. Scott Reif up in Airside.